l'objectif pour moi, c'est de pouvoir appliquer le learning dans la région de Dabakala, dans ma circonscription et l'enseignement préscolaire primaire. Les enfants peuvent apprendre beaucoup de choses, nous pouvons apprendre beaucoup, nous pouvons informer et c'est ce que nous avons besoin pour la recherche et tous les autres aspects. Donc, notre premier objectif, c'était de montrer, de faire participer les francophones dans cette dynamique d'innovation, de, 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 de l'enseignement et du développement. Donc c'était ça notre première attente. Et le gouvernement, comme il était déjà dans cette dynamique, donc, a voulu montrer aux visiteurs, aux populations, qu'on euh, est engagé dans cette voie de développement et qu'on euh, y est. You can develop the language further. For me, it acts as um, a complementary tool to learning and acquisition of the foreign language, not necessarily French, but languages. It facilitates, it, it prompts, it triggers learning in, in the students. So E-Learning Africa was uh, an excellent opportunity to meet with other partners, but mainly with government officials that need to make important decisions on how they integrate technology into evolving their education environments. It's about making up for lost time. It's about bringing the two together. You can't have technology or learning. It's about integrating good learning practices and finding how technology can best serve those. Access is about access to information, access to opportunity, access to work. It doesn't matter whether you're in Senegal or New York if you're on the internet and you're looking for work. Africa doesn't need to go back to the age of the Taylor Stone. E-education today and uh, excelling tomorrow. It's, it access provides children with reasons to learn because it's so fun and engaging and participation, it stimulates them to learn more and more and more. So we can all work together to provide the best possible IT opportunity, learning opportunity for children of Africa. People should use e-learning to really get up their skills, governments and corporates to really support the infrastructure that the technology and the knowledge and the learning can get provided and it gets provided so that basically uh, the, the developing countries in Africa benefit from it. And this change will go through the use of technology in Africa. The choice is ours. And we need to make that choice. And becoming members of the Knowledge and Information Society is the way for this to happen. It's the least amount of capital deployed. You don't need to build immense factories. You can create jobs. And you can create the desire to learn and achieve. And that is so important. Thank you.